Not so long ago, I did a tweet that asked you guys to tell me your deepest, darkest football manager secrets, your FM confessions. And well, I recently had a look at this list and it turns out some of them are completely unhinged. So much so that like, are you guys okay? Is everything all right at home? Because... In today's video, we're going to take a look at a selection of these confessions, react to one or two of them, and just really question, are you guys okay? There does seem to be some sort of accepted FM etiquette, some, some things you just don't do, like manage PSG unironically, or reload the game and save scum. You just don't do these things, but what if I told you there are people who are up to things that are way worse, inside the comforts of their own home, with the curtains drawn shut, they're doing things much, much worse than save scumming. The first of which is this. I changed the finishing of my star striker because he was so perfect at everything else, but had six finishing. I changed it to 16. He won the Ballon d'Or the next season. The, he actually went and won the Ballon d'Or. This is, this is bad. This is bad. Do you know what though? I can sort of understand it to an extent because it can be frustrating. If this is a new gen... I sort of understand what you mean. You can get those perfect players that come through, can't you? Where they are perfect and then they've just got one random attribute that just isn't matching up with how good they are. Like, they'll have like a really low work rate. I guess with a striker, the low finishing could be frustrating, but it's not even like he had like nine finishes. Six. That's like, that is very... Every goal that goes in, you must be thinking, ooh, is that just... Is, how how do you live with it? Surely that's eating you away inside, No. I, I don't know if I can forgive this one. Especially, actually, if he's won the Ballon d'Or, that means you must have won competitions as well. All of those, that's probably a Champions League win. At least a league win if you're winning, if he's winning the Ballon d'Or, because it takes into consideration the trophies they win as well, right? This one's bad. I'm not sure I can forgive this one. I mean, I guess I need the help of the comments as well on these. Do, do you guys forgive him? Collectively, are we going to forgive this first confession? That's a big change. 6 to 16. I'm not sure I can. I'm going to say this one is unforgivable to start with. I'm sorry, but you're not forgiven. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold it there. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt, but I just need to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, which is once again OneFootball, a brilliant, amazing football app which is free to download if you go and click the link that is in the description of today's video. It's the very top line of the description. And once you do so, you'll download the app completely free of charge and you'll get yourself a fantastic football app, which is brilliant to follow the World Cup, which is going on right now. It is what I'm using to keep up to date with everything that's happening at the World Cup. You get the live scores being pinged through to your phone. You get all those news articles, team news, live updates on the scores, everything you could want from a football app all about the World Cup. I highly suggest you go and get it downloaded. Click that link that's in the description. You will not regret it. Thank you very much. Sorry to interrupt. Let's get ourselves back into this video. Let's find out your deepest, darkest confessions. Come on. I was playing in the championship in an online save with my mate. I got second in the league, but he was stuck in the playoffs. When it got to the final, I realized that if he didn't get promoted, we probably wouldn't play the save anymore since there wouldn't be any competition. So on the final day, I changed the opposition keeper's stats to be all one in the hope he wouldn't notice. In the final, he won 7-0 and was over the moon since he changed his tactic the day before and was really confident in it. I still haven't had the heart to tell him. Do you know what? I feel like you've done a nice thing here. It's, it's shady. It's definitely shady. And one thing, you've called attribute stats there. So I don't know if we can forgive you just on that note. But do you know what? Overall... I think you've done a nice thing there to your mate and you've seen him smiling there and all happy and you've let him just enjoy the moment rather than ruin it for him. So actually, I think I think I'm going to let you off on this one. I think you can be forgiven for this. I mean, you wanted the save to continue. We've been there, right? If your brother or your friends aren't, don't want to play the game anymore, you just want it to continue. I'm going to let you off. This one's forgiven. In the comments down below, do you agree with me? Should this one be forgiven? I'm going to give this one a big forgiven because I think... I think it was nice at heart. At heart, it was a it was a positive thing. So, yeah, you're forgiven. When me and my mate were doing a network game, I would use the in-game editor to heal all my players when we played each other. So I ask you to forgive my sins. This one is... That's, that's your mate that you're... A, do you know what? There's a bit of this. There's a part of me in this one that thinks he should probably have noticed that all of your players had full condition. So I'm almost willing to say... More, more power to you. Crack on. If he's going to be not noticing enough, if he's not going to pay attention close enough to see it, then maybe that's his fault. But at the same time, 
you just want to have a legitimate game with your mates, don't you? Like, if you've only done it when you're playing against him, that's not as bad. But if you do this for every game, that's unacceptable. I'd be really upset if you did this in a network game with me. I won't lie to you. I'm going to say I'm on the fence with this one. Forgiven or unforgiven. Do you know what? I'm going to put the blame onto your mate. He didn't notice it. It's his fault. You're forgiven. Crack on. I've had every Football Manager game since I was 13 and I have never done a save other than Sheffield United because I'm a fan. Are you... Are you not bored? Bored, bored of this? I suppose it does depend actually how old you are now because if you're 14, that isn't too bad. If you're 33 and this has been 20 years of playing as Sheffield United, then this is disgusting. Um, short, broaden your horizons. Go and live... Live a little. Go and visit the rest of the world in FM and, you know, broaden those horizons because you can have a lot of fun with different saves. I promise you, you can. I actually think I probably did, like, the same few saves for the first few years that I played the game. But since then, when you start playing other things, I promise you, you're going to have fun. This one, this one, and it's Sheffield United. No, no, no shade, Sheffield United. But how fun can that be? I'm sorry, but I'm going to, I'm going to say Unforgiven. <laughs> I, I just, it doesn't make sense to me, unless you're 14. I racked up over 3,000 hours in FM22, 80% of which have occurred whilst working from home. Do you know what? Forgiven immediately. Football manager, it's a real job. Um, So, you know, crack on. Play that game whilst you're working from home. Hopefully you're still able to do your job. And also, if my employers are watching this, then um, I work very hard. On FM18, I wanted to win the World Cup with England. I save scummed for about three to four hours before having to play two right backs to win the trophy. I mean, Gareth Southgate, is that is that you? Is this where you got the idea from for all of the right backs that you pick for England? Hmm, is this one going to be forgiven? There's a part of me, you know, that actually thinks maybe you should be forgiven for the pure effort levels you went to to actually end up winning it. Winning it. Three to four hours of save scumming. It's actually pure persistence and resilience that I'm not sure I possess myself. So, so I am tempted to forgive you. However, my question is, if you just say scumming it, where's the enjoyment of actually winning it? Why why did you want to win the World Cup so much anyway? And I like how this one this one's on FM18, meaning that this is this has stayed with you. When someone asks you for your FM confession, this is where your mind goes to. So this is still eating away at you. Do you know what? I'm going to I'm going to let you off just because clearly this one is still hurting. You're forgiven. Finally you're forgiven. Let's hope it's coming home in real life, eh? I never save scum except occasionally if a player rejects me for another team, I'll go back a week and offer them a better contract. Oh, that is shady. It's very shady like save scumming. Do you know what? If you own it, each to their own. Do whatever you like. What? It's your own game. Do whatever you want, but is this one somehow worse? I feel like it is because you're going to play that one off it, as if it's like a good save, as if those players sign legitimately. I don't know. I feel like this is somehow worse than an actual just saves coming when you lose a game and reload it. What do you reckon? Comments down below. Is this one? I think I'm going to, I think this one's unforgivable. I think this one's worse. I don't, I don't, I don't think this is acceptable. I'm going to say unforgiven. I'm sorry. Okay, I suppose this is now a good stage for me to confess something. This this is my confession. And it's something I'm not proud of. It's something that goes back many, many years. I think about 15, 16, 17 years ago is when this happened. That's it's been it's haunted me for a long time. It was let me paint the scene for you here. It was a game where I was playing with my little brother John. We were doing a save before the years of network games where you just add two managers and then you take it in turns to manage each team, right? I was Villarreal. He was Deportivo La Coruña. Back in the day, they had some fantastic players. I had Ricalme for Villarreal, I seem to remember. And as, as you do, I took some nice glances over John's team at Deportivo. They had some great players in there. Most notably for me was Juan Carlos Valeron, who I thought would be a fantastic pairing for Ricalme in my midfield. And I thought, if I can pair them together, that would be glorious. And as I thought this... I noticed that, well, John's, John, John hadn't seen that Valeron's contract was about to expire. It was at the point where I could approach to sign Valeron on a free transfer. And of course, I ended up doing that. Now, a nice big brother probably would have said, hey, John, your best player there, his contract's about to expire. He could leave on a free. 
I didn't do that. I shadily offered him a contract, let it go to the point where I was about to sign him, even after he'd accepted a contract and was joining me on a free, having beaten off some of the best teams in Europe. I still didn't say anything until that very moment where he joined me and John went, where's Valeron? What's going on? Why is he joined? And then... Yeah, I did feel bad and I still feel bad. So I'm confessing it here today. I, I mean, comments down below. You're going to have to let me know if I'm forgiven for that one. I'm going to put it into your hands for this one. Am I forgiven for doing that to John? And if I'm not, do you know what? I'll continue to live with the guilt. This though was my FM confessions video reacting to your ridiculous FM confessions. And there are plenty more where that one, where these ones came from. If you want to see more of these, please do let me know in those comments down below. Also leave a like on the video and subscribe. We'll do some more. Also, I'm going to pin the link to confess your FM confessions in the comments of today's video. It will also be in the description, meaning if you want to tell me some confessions, maybe I'll include them in another video like this one. Maybe we'll get some guests on to react to some of them as well. That's my idea. Let me know if you enjoyed this type of video. A little bit different to what we usually do, isn't it? But most importantly, make sure you have a lovely, lovely rest of your day. Be good on FM. Have a lovely rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.